All right, guys, today we're going over the three best all-time flounder lures and baits. We're gonna have a couple mainstays that everyone knows, but we're also gonna have a couple little secrets out here that you might not expect. So check it out, baby. Let's go catch some flatties. Woo -woo -woo. All right guys, here we go. Number one best bait for flounder, live mullet. And you wanna fish these guys, generally on a Carolina rig, go check out our previous video where we go over our best flounder rigs to learn how to tie that. So I hook that mullet on a Carolina rig and drag it. You can't beat that bait. The flounder will come up and smack that thing wherever they are. So that's the best bait. And now for the next lure that kind of matches that bait, we're going with the good old jig head and soft plastic. All right, jig head. Let's go over different sizes. So when you're fishing the sound side with not a lot of current, and not a lot of wave action, you wanna go a little lighter. It's gonna give you a little, a little more finesse and you better finesse it over the nice drop offs and wedges. And it's gonna look even more natural with a lighter jig head because the bait will be able to flow a little more naturally in the current. But if you're fishing deeper water with more current, you wanna go a little heavier. So get a nice assortment of jig heads everywhere from like a 16th ounce for your lightest up to a half ounce if you're fishing pretty heavy conditions. We were like the trout eye jig heads. Got the little jig head eyes. These definitely seem to get the bite on. We'll link to them below, but them trout eye jig heads. Something about that big eye, and it gets the flounder and going. Well, we like to pair with the jig head. We got a couple different baits here. We've been having a lot of luck on these diesel minnows. They've been smoking them. And you know, you can, they generally last a little bit longer than our other favorite here, the Berkeley Gulp. Gulp. I mean, a lot of trash fish will tear it up. It gets a ton of bites. Got a lot of smell and scent in the water. And you'll definitely catch flounder. It can get expensive though, if you're getting bit off by lizard fish and you know, other bait fish, but these will definitely catch them good. But if you're looking for one that lasts, you know, check out these diesel minnows and other type of uh, soft plastics that you know, have a little more lifetime with them. And you can even go with you know, the classical, this is gall, I just put it in the bag. We've got nice curly tail grubs here. You can throw, get a little procure, which is basically like scent you can add to your soft plastics. Get a little procure, and you can pretty much make any soft plastic start smelling good. Soft plastic and jig heads, those are, you know, everyone knows about them because they work really well. They do a great job imitating bait fish and you're able to bounce off the bottom, targeting that space where flounder are hanging out. So definitely make sure you get a nice assortment of jig heads and soft plastics. And our favorite, gold white mullet paired with a red jig head. Tell them what that red and white gets them going. And you can get try different sizes depending on the size fish you're going for. We like maybe four inches to five inch gulp. But you really can't beat these little curly tail gulp white mullet. They are killer. Our second go-to bait slash lure is shrimp. Live shrimp is some of the best bait you can be using in the salt water and inshore fishing. The live shrimp, when hooked properly, flutter around like crazy. They're popping, they're doing their thing, and that just brings all the fish in. The fresher the shrimp, the better. I like them live, but if you can't get them live, freshly dead shrimp works great as well. Again, that can be fished on a popping cork or a Carolina rig. With live shrimp, I like to fish them underneath the popping cork. And again, go check out our other video, the last one in this series of how to rig that popping cork. The action of the live shrimp under the popping cork just brings in so many different fish and flounder love it as well. If you can't get your hands on live shrimp or fresh shrimp, a great backup, it might even be equal to live shrimp, are these voodoo shrimps. These voodoo shrimps have a segmented tail to make them look as realistic as possible. Not to mention, they're also super durable. You could probably catch 150 fish on this thing and it not get torn up. They're made of special material that lasts a long time holding up to those flounder bites. And we have a bunch of different colors. We have some natural colors, some grass shrimp colors, and some with this nice little chartreuse tail. You can fish these underneath the popping cork like you would a live shrimp, or you can tie them directly onto your line and just pop them up and down, making sure they hit the bottom first, then pop up again, hit the bottom. Another tip to make these baits even better is throw on that Pro Cure shrimp. It'll just get the flounder smell senses going and they'll smell your bait, they'll come up to it, they'll see it looking so natural and then they'll gulp it. Great way to fish these are with that popping cork rig and currents. You throw the popping cork upstream and let it float down and you pop it. Every five to seven seconds, it'll pop your shrimp up, 
and the action that the popping cork gives the shrimp makes it look as natural as it can be and it flutters back down. And when you pop that popping cork, there's brass beads and plastic beads and that'll sound like a shrimp. So if you have this thing rigged on a popping cork, you've got sound, you've got procure on your shrimp, you've got smell, and then you've got the last deadly piece of all looks with that segmented tail. All three of those come together and the flounder gobble that up. These also work great on a tandem rig. I like to tie these on the higher part of my tandem rig and have a diesel minnow or a gulp mullet on the bottom. The shrimp flutter down, getting the hot middle water column while the diesel minnow is getting the bottom water column. So if you don't have some voodoo shrimp, go check them out in our description. They're linked below. We can't go wrong with this. As you can see, we've got four right here. We've probably got about 20 or 30 more in our tackle box. And we aren't endorsed by them either. We just like them a lot. All right, now for number three. This one might be a little unusual and might not be something you'd expect for flounder, but what we have found through testing is these rooster tails and other spinner lures can be absolutely deadly for flounder. We love using these in the surf. If you got a surf where there's a nice trough right in front of the beach, we found that throwing these in the trough parallel to the shore, right on that drop off, is an absolutely deadly way to smoke these flounder. You're covering a ton of ground by throwing them on parallel to the shore. And basically the entire time you're reeling in, it's in that strike zone because the flounder are probably just gonna be lying on that shore all along the beach. And in terms of time of fishing, this is the maximum time because you can just cover a ton of it. And then flounder strikes on this are absolutely vicious. They'll see that thing twirling by, looking like a little bait fish, and then boom, they will come up and smoke it. We got a couple of different ones we like. We got the classic rooster tail, can't go wrong with it. When it goes in the water, it spins. This comes in either silver or gold blade, and as it goes in the water, it's gonna be spinning, catching the light, flashing, and that's gonna be mimicking bait fish, because when their scales hit the sunlight too, they flash, so that's gonna be mimicking, you know, mullet, mud minnows, you know, any sort of bait fish that's in the water, this is gonna be a perfect way to mimic it. They come in a couple different sizes, so match the size with what bait fish you see in the water, just to make it look as natural as possible. Match the hatch, baby. So you got the classic rooster tail, we also found there's a couple other spinners that work really well. We like these redfish magic lures. They don't just work on redfish, they work on flounder really well too. Basically the same idea of the rooster tail. It's just in the water. This nice gold blade here is gonna be spinning, spinning, spinning. Catching that sun, it's gonna be glinting off the sun. Just like that. Catching that nice little glint. And then they're gonna see this thing coming by. They're gonna smoke it. These spinner lures, deadly. And remember, fishing parallel. Try to get it right along that edge where the flounder are gonna be lining up way into ambush prey. And you'll be catching flounder out the yin yang. Another cool thing is that while the rooster tail blades, they have the visual aspect of flashing in the sunlight. As this thing's going through the water and these blades are spinning, it's gonna be putting off an awful lot of vibration. And the flounder can feel that and zoom in on that and smoke it. So even if the water's a little murky, you're not getting the best flash. You'll still be getting some flash, but then you had that vibration allowing you to fish murky waters with these baits effectively. There you have it. Those are the top three baits and lures to use when flounder fishing. Be sure to go check out our next video on how to actually use these baits and lures when you're in the water. We cover some great techniques that increase your chances of catching flounder, show you step-by-step -step how we caught three keeper flounders in one day and had a great time doing it using these same lures.